Hello everyone, this is Dana and in this video I'm going to show you Sway, which is uh, an application that is part of the Microsoft uh, App Suite. So if you have a Hotmail account or any other Microsoft account, you can find it here along with your other apps. So I will start by showing you some examples and discussing educational uses and then I will demonstrate how to create a Sway. So Sway is basically a different way of presenting content. So you can have a web page or a presentation um, or a blog or a portfolio. Um, so let me show you some examples that I found interesting that kind of illustrate what Sway can do. So this, as you can see, is like um, a normal presentation. You have pictures and you move through the slides, it's just that it, it looks a little bit nicer than your usual PowerPoint. It has and it has um, this animation already built in. You, you don't need to edit it. So it also makes it a little bit easier for the user. Now, another one that I liked here. So this is a teacher that made um, test revision. And uh, you can see this one has a slightly different format because you scroll down and Sway um, helpfully tells you what to do in case you don't know. You can also change the layout from here, or turn on and off the animations if you don't like them. So it's um, a little bit more customizable by the audience, uh, which is quite interesting. Um, so this is what it looks like. You can see you can put pictures and text, you can insert videos. Here you just put everything here for the students to review for the text. And you can see you can put a lot of a lot of information in it. And let me show you another one. And this one is a newsletter. So that's another thing that you can make. And this is the Italian Embassy in Rosario. As you can see, there are different ways that you can um, organize your content and you can make it probably make it look a little bit more interesting than, um, for example, a PowerPoint. So I would say this is um, comparable to the tool that I reviewed a few days ago, which was Adobe Spark. And I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the differences between these uh, at the end. Uh, but yeah, so a presentation tool, the students can e easily use it and just make uh, their simple presentations or more complicated presentations. And um, you don't really need to think about the design, but you can. So one thing that I like about it is that you can customize it and I'll show you in a minute. Okay. And this is the one that I made then just to show you how to use Sway to make a presentation. Um, I got most of the content from, um, I adapted it from Wikipedia. So you can see, yeah, the title, a background image, and then text, again, different images, text, diagrams. And then at the end, we also have this stack of pictures here. So you can just do, you can just click on them. Or you can also just make them big and see them properly. Okay, so how did I make this? You can start with a document. So if you already kind of have your content organized in a um, Word document or a PDF or a PowerPoint, you can just import that and then Sway will automatically apply um, uh, formatting to it. And it would apply the design. Uh, you can also start from a topic. So just write the topping and they'll think, okay, what kind of design would go well with this topic? And they will suggest a design for you. Um, you can create new, which is what I'm going to do. 
um, but you can also start from a template and you have blog, newsletters, portfolios. And what I like about this is that it gives you suggestions for the content as well. So for instance, here, this is what it would look like. I have create interest. If you want to write something here or put content that creates interest. And they tell you, give you some tips of how to do it. So I think this would be useful for students, especially if they are just learning how to make presentations. Okay, now as I said, I created mine from scratch. So you just go to create new. And I have all my content here. So I'm just going to copy all the text. This would be my title. And then I may want to choose a background for my title. And the nice thing is that Sway can suggest pictures for you based on your text. So let's say I go here and I chose one of these. Um, not sure where it is, but let's say, let's say it's this one. It may be this one. So you can just select it and click add, or you can just drag it. And so we have the background image and you can preview it by doing this. As you can see, this one looks a bit different than mine because it just applied a different design, but we can change that later. Okay, next you can add more content by clicking here and I'm just going to go and add more text. Um, you can add more content by going here to insert. Um, you can also click here and then it's going to show you all these things that you can add. So you can see you have text, headings, video, audio, you can embed something, you can add links and so on. So I'm just going to add text. I'm just going to show you one paragraph. I'll put this okay maybe I wanted to do this one bullet points um, emphasize is bold and then accent is italics okay so I got this one done I can preview it and it looks like this okay and this is how I made all the others. And then I added just an extra image. Let's say I want to add some fruit and just look for it. And of course you can also upload from your computer. Um, so I just did this. Oh, no, it's too big. Let's do this one. Okay. And now my picture looks like this. Um, the way that your pictures look will depend on the design that you choose. Okay. And then let me just show you how I made the stack. If you remember, I have the stack here at the end. Uh, so that one really is just by adding multiple pictures. You can also add captions to pictures and then you can group them. So I select them from here. One, two, three, four. I'm grouping them. And then see this creates, you can choose for it to look like this or a stack or a grid or a slideshow. Okay. Now, if you want to see the whole thing, the way that your audience will see it, you just click play. Okay. And there's my macronutrients right now. It's got slides like this, but we can change that. So you see it has autoplay and autoplay settings. You can change the layout so I can make it vertical. Now let's say I finished it. So of course you can add all your content here and then you can choose. 
So this is again another way to change the layout if you want to scroll vertically or have slides. And then for the design, you can choose from all of these. And they're all going to come with slightly different text and different way that they um, arrange the photos and so on. So for instance, if I choose this one, so it is very different, it's black and white. And I can change it again, you can also customize it. So you see, you can get a different color and maybe I want a different font and it will look like this. Okay, so um, a few days ago I reviewed um, Adobe Spark and this is quite similar to Adobe Spark page and uh, the end product looks very similar. Um, however, there are a few things that I like a lot more in Sway. As you could see, for the design, there's a, there are a lot more uh, customization options. You also have more LM element types, like the headings, for example. Another thing that I like is that you can use your up and down keys. You also don't have that logo there. You only have the logo at the end and it says made with sway, but it's not just on top of it. And another thing that I love is as you can see, it has an undo and a redo button, and this makes it so much easier to edit and to change things. So I think that Sway is a nice way to try and can be helpful for teachers and for students. So give it a try next time you have to make some content or presentation. Have fun.